Uh, this is this is crazy. I've had a crazy week. Two men on TikTok. Two thousand followers on TikTok. I look at YouTube. I'm in a I'm in a reaction video. I think my longest YouTube video. Five hundred views. I jump up like thirty subs. That's like, bro, what is going on? How, what, is this fame? What's up, YouTube? Um, it's Nax. Nax XV. For those of you who do not know, new subs of the channel. Welcome. My name is Nax XV. Um, name change is actually pending. It'll be same Nax. I kind of just think that the name is too complicated. Um. I'm gonna I'm take the next part because that's what people call me by and then just get rid of the uh, XV stuff and then just like next. Essentially, I kind of really wanted to get this video out to just say thank you. Like this week has been crazy. Really good week. This doesn't really happen to me. 1.6 million on TikTok off of one video, but a combined total of like 2 million views on TikTok. And like my TikTok from the past week, if I like look at the numbers, look at the graph, it went from like about 130 followers to 2,000. And it's like, bro, what? I've never comprehended that. 2,000 people, let alone like 100 or like 50. 50 people would like to follow my account to see me more than once in their lifetime. Like that that in itself is amazing. It's like astonishing. Not only TikTok, but like I also uploaded my reaction to like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all that twitter did twitter my twitter never really does anything you should follow it though kind of just sit there shit post all day and then like two or three people like it usually myself on my other account besides from tiktok um that brings me to my next topic after the presentation like the sore presentation i wanted to like either i was trying to figure out if i wanted to chop up the reaction to like get like a 10 minute video or like a or like the whole 40 minutes and then i realized like i was going ape shit the whole fucking presentation so it's like it's no point in me trying to chop it up. I'm just going to drop the 40 minute video. And if we look at it, like that's like my second highest viewed video on the whole channel. 30 of you decided to stick by after watching my reaction to Sora getting in Smash Bros. And if you can't tell, Sora and like Kingdom Hearts, that's that's like, that's my shit. That is my, that I've grown, grown up with Kingdom Hearts my entire life. And like for me to see Sora finally get into Smash, one of my favorite games of all time, it's like the reaction says it all and like like i said i just want to say thank you like i i don't say that enough i want to say thank you there is a there's a youtube video there's a youtuber that put me in a sore reaction like highlight video i was smack in the middle and that video has like i think a hundred thousand views now so like if you think about it that's a lot of people like holy shit this is surreal to me like i I appreciate it so, 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 so much. I really hope people don't take this the wrong way. Like, I'm not trying to capitalize off of this, like, at all. It's just, like, so crazy to me that people were saying that this, that my reaction just reminded them of Etika. And, like, if you guys don't know, Etika is, like, that's my fucking idol. Like, him and Tyler, the creator, like, my two idols, like, of all time. Those are, like, the two people I look up to the most. And if you guys have watched that in the past, but like no Tyler the Creator and like just know me in general, our personalities are like pretty much the fucking same. Like those two are the people that I want to be like when I get bigger as a content creator. And like for people to even put me in the same sentence or like same thought or like just same area as Etika, just like really. It just really made me feel good, I guess. Like, it made me smile. That kind of brings me to my next point of just, like, plans down the road and, like, the future, I guess. And just, like, kind of some things that I haven't really said on camera or, like, at all during streams and any of that. Like, a few months back, I think it was in February, actually, uh, Ludwig had uploaded this video and it, it was kind of just like how to grow as a content creator. He knows what he's doing. So why should I ignore his tips that he's just giving people? Why should I ignore that if he's just giving it out? You know, so I watched it the whole 40 minute video and he said to make a goals list and to stick by that goals list. And um, I think I'm going to share some of my goals that I've put up for, for this year. Um, I'm going to actually put them up. Right here actually 500 subs on youtube 1k followers on twitch around two vids a month and it's like graduate school because if you guys don't know new subs i'm still in school which is why content is kind of sparse and like i don't have a strict schedule but like i have a schedule it's there but it's not there um monday wednesday friday saturday on twitch and then just youtube it's like try to do it around two times a month 
but if it's going to be uploaded, it'll be like four EST. The Smash video really put it into perspective that like, if I upload and like, I just make content that people want to see, like these numbers aren't unattainable. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say in this video. Um, It was really just like a thank you vid. And um, I don't know how this ended up getting chopped. Like I said, I appreciate you guys. Um, See you in the next video. Follow, like, subscribe. Thank you. I'm out of here.